Hello, hello, I'm Melanie Tyler, and we are doing an in progress video. So I'm gonna be showing you my sassy granny quilt. Let's see. And it's partially quilted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sassy Granny was one of the quilts alongs that we did 2022. And um, the pattern is from my book, A Life with Quilts. So um, this is probably probably my second favorite quilt in the book. Uh, if, you, if you've if you been following for a long time, this pattern actually came from another quilt pattern of mine, a sampler quilt. And this block that I use over and over in Sassy Granny, uh, was part of my anthology quilt pattern originally and then it became and then once I made that block in anthology I just really really wanted a whole quilt of them and so sassy granny quilt came to be uh, and again the pattern is in my book of life with quilts um, very very simple pattern uh, just a bunch of straight line sewing right can't get easier than that and this is a great quilt for chain piecing um, for you just to whip through it and if you've never if you are approaching sewing as a new quilter or for the very first time, we have um, over on the blog, if you click the quilt along tab and then hit sassy granny quilts along, uh, you'll see video tutorials for every step of this quilt. So if you need a little helping hand, it's there for you. Okay, so I have been quilting on this quilt for Actually, it's been sitting on the machine or under the machine for, I don't know, I want to say two weeks, long before Christmas, and I have just let it sit there. I just didn't get past the foreground, and I'm still sitting at the same place. So I thought, let me just shoot a in-progress video and show you a little bit about what I've already done and what is to come. All right, so here is the progress so far that I've made on Sassy Granny. And I've just got the foreground done. So I went really, really simple in the foreground. Um, it's a little time consuming, you know, to stitch in all these little ditches, but um, it, it really gives it that nice pop. So I've done that. I've also put drapes, you know, on all the squares. Um, so that is on each of these blocks. I think this quilt has 25 blocks and they all look exactly the same. Uh, so that part is done and all I have left is to do the um, background, which I'm going to start on next. So there's just a look at it and this is the quilt that I am um, using as one of the samples in my finish it class which should be releasing pretty soon um, I still don't have an exact date for it yet but I'm really really close to completing it I'm just kind of um I'm kind of stuck on how to finish this now I'll probably just end up doing the same thing that um I did <laughs> I do on all of the quilts um but I really like this quilt this quilt uses my well mostly cinnamon tea for the foreground um it's got a few extras like you know these two are not part of cinnamon tea but all of these are so it's got a lot of cinnamon tea in it but it's also got a few extras and the background is all gentleness plus a few uh cinnamon tea prints as well but everything else is my is from my gentleness collection and i really really love this quilt this is one of my favorite quilts from my book a life with quilts and it's my favorite quilt that i completed in 2022 one of them anyway I, there were so many good ones in 2022 it's always hard, hard to choose right it's easier to choose your least favorite um but anyway so that is all I have left to do and it's taking a little bit longer than i anticipated for uh, to finish it because I am, like I said, using it as a sample in that class and I keep having to stop and show something and stop and show something. So it's, um, we're getting there though. And, uh, yeah. So there is a look at Sassy Granny progress. So I'm hoping just by shooting this little video that I get the push or motivation that I need to get this thing done because I really, really need to finish it for that class. And I'm just kind of like, sometimes when I get to the end of something, I'm just like, 
feel the motivation drop off and a constant working on that uh, for I guess forever it seems to be like something that follows me around to almost everything the very last part is always the the hardest for me to complete anyway I hope you enjoyed watching this video I will pop back in about sassy granny when I have it all finished and have something complete to show you mm -hmm.